Hello, Mass Attacks here. Today I'm going to show you how I completed Union 15 for the Chimera. And my weapon of choice was the Tier 10 Russian Heavy Tank, the Object 705 here. So before we get into the action, I'll show you my crew and equipment on this tank and we'll have a quick look at the mission. My crew in this tank, quite good crew, they're all onto the fourth skill. The equipment that I'm using on this tank is vents, gun rammer and vertical stabiliser. We'll have a look at the mission and then we'll get into the action. This is the mission, Union 15, Armour of God for the Chimera. The primary condition, you've got to cause, receive and block a total of 10,000 hit points of damage. The secondary, you've got to cause 20% of the total amount of damage caused by your team. And you've also got to win the battle. So let's have a look at the battle. Today I'm playing on Fjords. It's a standard battle. And we've got the 366 matchmaking. I'm top tier. So this is definitely the best MM to try and complete this mission. So I'm going to head to the south to the corner where all the heavies go on this map. Since I'm top tier and in this beast, I want to get into the action and use my armour. And when I say armour, the armour on this is absolutely fantastic. Especially if you're into side scraping tanks. This is excellent. LT432, don't know why he's doing there. Big shot into him and we'll take his track and get the assistance for that. So that's a nice start. We've taken a shot from a standard bay into the side there. He damaged our ammo rack so I've quickly repaired that. That could have went bad. So if you're doing a mission where you've got to use armour, I wouldn't look much further than the Object 705 here. The armour is excellent, like I said. If you can side scrape, you'll bounce shots all day long. So with the armour, on the hull you get 175mm on the front, 100 on the side, 60 on the rear. And then your turret, as you can see I'm bouncing things for fun. The turret, you get 330mm on the front, nothing's going to penetrate your turret. You get 180mm on the side and 120mm on the rear. The WZ14 knows he's going to struggle with us, so he's changed to HE, and I shouldn't have any problem with that Renegade as you saw there, big shot straight into his turret. About another shot from him, there's a 53TP, took me track. I'm concerned about the E4, but I'm keeping tucked into the right hand side, so I will be side scraping out a bit. 1-4, big shot into him. It is great fun, this gun. I do want to be the front tank. I spot the 53TP. If I'm lighting things up, I will get the assistance, which will help us towards this mission. As I get some assistance there. I'm bound to shot, but we didn't penetrate the turret of the 53TP. Good turret on that. So with this tank, you get a massive 152mm gun. It has 256 penetration with 650 alpha there's that A4 the side of him so I get a nice big shot into him I've spotted him and all I might get some assistance I reverse back there's a conqueror right behind us so I have getting a bit of assistance on the A4 and the WZ14 gets ammo rack there that's all nice so I'm gonna push forward so back to the gun with my crew and equipment I have an EM time of 2.57 seconds, a dispersion of 0.4. Can I take the A4 out? Yep, taking him out, that's a good gun out the game. So that dispersion at 0.4 isn't great. I have a reload time of 14.94 seconds. I'm going to try and flank round this EMX 54. Yep, big shot into him, I tried to track him. Reverse back and block him and I've managed to track him that way. Ooh, look at all this assistance. And he's been ammo racked. 1100 assistance there. So as I was saying about the gun, since this is a re-mounted turret, you do only get 5 degrees of gun depression. 
And I get a massive shot into that Progetto on the move. Bit of Russian tank RNG there. There's the big Progetto, the 65 there. Tries a shot in us. Come on, reverse back right in front of us. He has. Big shot into him. I'll pull back. My team should take him out, hopefully. I took a shot from him. He is firing gold. And he's been taken out. With this tank and all its armor, the mobility actually isn't too bad. We do get a 40 top speed going forward. 15 in reverse, which is quite nice. Score the T50. There's the Russian RNG again. Get a nice shot into him. Weren't even properly aimed in. So the worst thing about this gun is the dispersion at point 0.4, but you don't really have to worry about that, as you can see. Trying to find a shot into that T95. Didn't get the shot there. And I've taken a shot. I'm gonna push in, close the gap. See if I can get a shot into him. My team's behind him. Come on. Reload. Bottom plate I'll try for. Boom. Lovely shot into him and he's been taken out. Mission completed. Let's have a quick look at the stats. Was a class one badge. We've got the Confederate medal. You've got to hit more enemy vehicles than any other player on your team. At least six. We hit nine. You got the steel wall. Receive the most hits at least 11 of any other player on your team with potential damage of 1,000. We bounce 2,460 potential damage. And we've got the high caliber for our 6,261 damage. Top of the tray for XP with a BSXP of 1,164. Top for damage. We made 54,000 credits, but that's not accurate. Plus 4,365 XP, that's due to a personal reserve bonus and an award for the first victory each year, which was at times two. I'd like to thank you for watching today's battle. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. There's a little icon in the bottom right hand corner. And if you have any feedback, please could you leave it via the thumbs buttons in the comment section below. Cheers.